the following spring i actually started the nursing program and it completely humbled me i failed a couple classes i got kicked out of the program <laughs> like i went from having a 3-7 to y'all don't even want to know i've been adding commas on my new statements yeah i've been on new energy it's contagious i could try to hide it but i can't contain it this life keeps going up and i can't explain a day in the life or a week in the life of a girl that's just trying to figure it out in her 20 something i'm talking a little bit low right now because i haven't brushed my teeth yet i'm just going to give you guys a quick little intro then i'm going to start brushing my teeth if you don't mind i hope you don't mind me brushing my teeth stone wants to say hi at this point he's getting heavier and heavier every day anyways i have been inspired by some of my favorite creators to make a video like this because i see a lot of people think that social media influencers or content creators like come on social media and have their life all together we don't we do not and one of my biggest goals through social media is to get my life together stone get out the shower Anyways, one of my biggest goals through social media is to get my life together and figure out what I want to do with my life and also inspire others to get their lives together and figure out what they want to do. So what better way to do that or like kick off my journey in our journey by making a video like this. I'm really going to try to get like a little vulnerable and stuff because there's stuff that you guys don't know about me. There's stuff that I want you guys to know about me. So I'm scared. <clears throat> It doesn't look that bad, okay? I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna talk to you guys while I get ready for today. Right now it's 8.45 a.m. I woke up at 8.30 and just played on my phone a little bit. That's one thing that I'm trying to get out of the habit of waking up and then immediately start scrolling. That is not good for the brain, bro. I swear that's why I be getting headaches throughout the day because I look at my screen too much. Okay, y'all. So I finished touching up my hair and brushing my teeth. I didn't do anything to my face because I plan to go to the gym after I finish reading my Bible. But the first thing I wanted to talk to y'all about was my faith. If you're new here, I have been on like my spirituality journey slash like finding faith in God for a couple months now and I feel like I'm doing pretty good but I want to do better. And sometimes it gets hard for me to read my Bible and this isn't an excuse. It's just like, I'm just being real. Sometimes it gets hard for me to read my Bible because I don't know what I'm supposed to be reading. I don't know. I currently own the She Reads Truth Bible and I think sometime last week I went ahead and did my little Bible tabs. This was really fun and tedious and kind of like, long because number one i messed up a couple times and number two is so many tabs like when i bought the actual tabs himself in my head i'm thinking 84 isn't that many whole time it is but i think it looks really really cute so one way i'm trying to get closer to god is by reading Amy Moore, um, she's the host of the save not soft podcast she literally says the best way to get closer to god is to read and then I also have this book. Jaden got this for me for Christmas. It's 30 Days with Jesus. So it's kind of like a study book, basically. So it'll have quotes, scripture, and then it'll have like normal people, you know, translating stuff for you. And then it'll have space for you to write and reflect. Just get your thoughts out on paper and just, you know, connect with God on paper. Personally, I want to be one of the girlies that is in the habit of reading her Bible every single day. And sometimes I think I want to do it every single day at the same time of the day, just so I can show my commitment. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. You know, it's not hard to wake up every single day at the same time to go to class, to go to the gym, to get on your phone, to watch TV, you know, to send emails. It's not hard to do that stuff. But when it comes to connecting with God and really tapping into your faith, it's like, why is there such a struggle? It shouldn't be a struggle. I'm just talking about for me personally because these are things that I've seen myself do and I really don't like that about me so I'm trying to change it because God isn't looking for perfection he's looking for willingness there's a difference between saying you're gonna do something and doing it and then saying you're gonna do something and just saying it to say it because it sounds good so I think this time is right right now it's 9 21 a.m. I'm probably gonna make some coffee first and sit down and just read for a little bit and take notes and then I'm gonna write in the journal a little bit too I've been debating on like if I wanted to do this in silence or if I wanted to do this listen to a podcast or you know soft music I haven't really figured that out yet but this is what this is for y'all this is for me to figure things out I'm just trying to get into better habits I'm not gonna say system but I'm trying to get myself into what's another word for system 
Hmm. Routine. I'm trying to get myself into a better routine. Before I make my coffee, one thing I forgot to mention was prayer. Another way to get close to God is to pray. You gotta talk to him. I always hear people say like, I can't trust him. Nah, 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 nah. It's because you don't know him. It's because you don't read about him. You don't read about what he does, what he's about, who he is, and you don't talk to him. It's as simple as that. So another thing I'm trying to get better at is praying. I feel like I do a pretty good job of praying every day. I just wanna incorporate praying multiple times throughout the day. Like, it's giving three times. I think it's giving three times, so that's what I'm gonna strive for. And I don't even care if I have to put on timers to remind me. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, now it's coffee time. Alexa, TV on. Okay. Alexa, go to YouTube. Getting YouTube from Fire TV. I have the remote on my phone. When y'all be seeing me standing here talking to the TV, I'm not only telling Alexa what to do, I'm also controlling the TV on my phone. So we finna turn on Save Not Soft, cause I wanna get in the mood and Annie is so uplifting. She just keeps it real, so it's kinda hard not to wanna listen to her. Like, let me, let me like dress up. Let me get myself together. Like this is, this is important news. So let me dress like it's important. <laughs> shower i went ahead and got dressed for the gym i'm wearing this long sleeve crop top that i got from plato's closet i have been having the hardest time trying to figure out where this is actually from i bought it from plato's closet but i don't know where i can buy more at if that makes sense i just don't know so yeah and then i got on some sweats i'm wearing my townsend sweatpants i don't know it's just something about wearing sweatpants to the gym that just eats in my opinion in my opinion and it also eats because i don't have a lot of gym girl clothes my weight has been fluctuating OD over the past couple of years, so like I've either thrown clothes away, given them away, sold them, or just didn't want them anymore. One thing that I'm trying to get better at is staying consistent in the gym. I've been doing a pretty good job, but my goal weight is to get back to 135. I was 135 about a year and a half ago. I don't know, like when I stopped playing basketball, I just lost kind of a love for working out and being in the gym because I felt like I wasn't working towards anything. You know, when you lift weights and stuff for basketball, you know that you're going to be playing on the court, you know, playing against other people. When you stop playing a sport, you decide to like weight train for yourself. You have to have a different type of mentality, a different drive in order to stay at it, stay with it, you know? Another thing that you have to factor in when you start lifting weights is your diet. I have a hard time with my diet because I crave things so much but i've also started to understand that sometimes cravings are temptations and temptations are not always good especially the ones that make you gain 20 pounds okay because i'm 20 pounds up i was 155 two and a half weeks ago maybe three weeks ago now because i weighed myself sunday i put that in my last vlog right now i'm 150 and i weigh myself every sunday because me and dj have a competition going on so we only weigh in on sundays He's trying to get to 175, 180. I'm trying to get back to 135. So whoever gets there first wins. Side note, I am using the Missing Persons perfume. I was using the soap in the shower, so I'm just going to go in with this. I feel like if you use them separately, they don't smell as good. But when you use them together, it eats. But back to what I was saying. For me, the gym is teaching me how to stay consistent. <coughs> It got in my mouth a little bit for me the gym is teaching me how to stay consistent and how to like be more goal oriented you know a lot of times you see that people want instant gratification i look at myself in the mirror all the time because i go to the gym one day the next day i wake up i'm looking like oh why do i still look 10 pounds heavier it doesn't work like that like you have to stay consistent you have to have a goal in mind you have to make sure that the main goal stays the main goal okay Eating a cupcake, eating some cookies here and there is cool, but when you start to eat burgers and fried food every single day of the week, 
you're not keeping the main goal the main goal. You're being tempted to eat those goodies and snacks because it looks good and it sounds good and it makes you feel good. In the meantime, the goal is to feel good in the long run. So I'm really trying to make that happen slowly but surely. I'm working at it, you know, praying, having faith in God and going to the gym. Period. I get so excited, y'all. Another thing that I credit to staying consistent in the gym is trusting the process. When you start your fitness journey, you really do gotta trust the process because in the beginning, you're not gonna know what works for your body type. You're not gonna know if you're doing something wrong, what you're doing right. You just may not know. So you really have to trust the process to figure those things out along the way. So I really appreciate the gym for teaching me that because it gets hard. When I do them split squats, it gets hard, but you gotta push through, you gotta keep going. And everything that you do inside the gym, you can translate to your everyday life. That's just how I think and how I've programmed my mind to think over these past couple months of me getting back in the gym and trying to stay in the gym. Today is an upper body day. I am gonna be targeting my triceps, my biceps, maybe a little bit of back. Every time I work out, when I do upper body, I like to incorporate some back exercises because when you build your back, you build your shape. If you didn't know, now you know. I need to quit a little second. I need to quit a little break. I need to quit a little break. Okay, y'all, now that I'm done with my pre, we can resume our normal program. Y'all, I was not lying when I said that the oxy shrimp would make me sweat. I don't know if you guys can see it right now, but like, I'm sweating. Your girl is tired. Just put in that work. I'm finna continue to put in that work with these ads. It's good, man. Oh yeah, that light is look good. Yeah, we can do it. My workout is complete. Right now, I'm really trying to work on my back fat. I used to be like embarrassed of the fat that I have in my stomach and around my back, but I really don't care anymore because it's real life. Like, it's gonna go away, especially if I keep working at it and working at it and working at it. That's how all things work. As long as you work at something, you're gonna see the results that you wanna see, but you just cannot give up on it. If you don't take anything away from this video, take this. The harder you work, the more results you'll see. Point blank, period. I've never heard of somebody that worked and worked and worked for something and didn't eventually receive it. Like I was talking about earlier, that whole instant gratification thing, you gotta let that go. Like, you're not gonna get anywhere in life if you think just because you did something for a day, a week, maybe a month, or sometimes even a year, you're gonna get the results that you have been dreaming and wishing for. It doesn't work like that. Sometimes it takes years and years and years to get to where you wanna go. But if you give up before you get to that mark where it just takes off, you're not gonna have anything at all. I don't know why, I just like to randomly dance. Me and D-Hop is gonna hit the grocery store because we have nothing to eat right now. And then I'm gonna see you guys a little bit later. Hey y'all, it's the next day. I really feel young. I really feel like I look so young when I wear my hair like this. That's why I never wear my hair like this. But I was just getting tired of doing the normal, same old, same old slick back. So I had to switch it up a little bit so I can keep myself sane. Right now, it's the next day of course. I'm getting ready for class. I woke up at 7.30. I was supposed to wake up at 6.30. And when I tell y'all that, I was this close to not getting up, getting in the shower, and getting ready. Like, I'm so serious. I was not gonna go. So now I thought about my goals and what I want to do in life and who I want to be and what type of person I want to be. And I was just like, girl, get up. So that's what I did. Today, I'm wearing a black bodysuit and a Nike tech. I don't know. I feel like I wear the same stuff every day, but I really don't care because it's comfortable. I don't know. I'm not really in the business of spending money on clothes right now. It's supposed to rain today, so I'm going to wear these to school. These are Uggs, by the way. Hello, my little baby. 
hello. And I just like to wear fluffy socks with them because they're really comfortable and they're cute. These are the socks. I was feeling so bad this morning, y'all, that I wasn't about to do my skincare routine, which is insane because that's my favorite part of the morning. And I'm annoyed because I broke my nail, so it's hard for me to do every single thing without hitting it and hurting it again. So I'm just trying to be extra careful. It's just a lot going on. My nose is stuffy. I keep sniffling. Right now it's 8.22. My class starts at 9. Probably like 30 minutes away right now. It's probably a little bit of traffic. I'm going to try my best not to be late. If you guys are new here or you haven't heard me talk about school in a different video, I am a super senior. So next semester will be my fifth year in college. I was class of 2020 out of high school. I transferred from Bowie State University. I originally went there on scholarship for basketball. I was there for two years and then I transferred to Townsend because I got into their nursing program. My first semester at Townsend, I didn't start the program yet because I had to take some general education classes at Townsend first. So I did that. That's one extra semester. And then the following spring, I actually started the nursing program and it completely humbled me. I failed a couple classes. I got kicked out of the program. <laughs> that sounds so crazy saying out loud, but like I just wasn't mentally prepared. I wasn't ready. Like I was living off campus. I didn't have a schedule. I didn't have a routine. I was just doing anything. And I didn't know how to study for my nursing classes. Like I was studying for my science classes. It was just... It was just really bad. Like, I went from having a 3-7 to y'all don't even want to know. I mean, you live and you learn. I still want to be a nurse, like, really, really bad. So, I actually applied to a program, and I'm waiting to see if I got in at the end of March. Yeah, but currently, my major is public health, and I actually like it, so it doesn't really, you know make me know never mind if i don't get into the program because if i don't get into the program i'm gonna try to get my master's in nursing i just really wish that i wouldn't have like given up on myself especially when i had a chance to come back from like failing an exam and stuff like that it just didn't make sense i should have just like sat down with somebody and tried to figure out ways to get me back on track but i didn't do that i don't know what was going on i don't know what was going on with me like i was so defeated like don't ever feel defeated because then you'll stop doing something that you like really want to do or you're really passionate about so don't ever let like defeat take over today's scent is juicy couture it's crazy because i used to be so embarrassed to like tell people no i'm not in the program anymore but i'm not embarrassed because everybody's you know journey is different so what who cares you gotta take an l to get a dub and if you really think about it my wins versus losses i'm winning every time i don't know what this is giving i don't think i like it but it's the hair like it's the hair the hair is just throwing me off y'all this is how i have to put on my apple watch like who made this <sighs> okay your girl's already for class i'm about to head to my first class which is health 311 and then my second class today is intro to public health First class starts at 9 and it's from 9 to 9.50. My second class starts at 10 and it's from 10 to 10.50. Hopefully we can do something fun today. We're supposed to be going to a basketball game. We'll see if that happens or not. I look 12. This is what happened when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, fuck, I want it to be different, yeah. Waiting on a sign, guess it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save up for me. Do this one favor for me. Your girl is back home, and I decided to show y'all this because this is the first time ever that I'm gonna put avocado on my sandwich. I don't know why, but like guacamole kind of gave me the ick for avocado itself, but then I just remembered that like guac has a whole bunch of other ingredients in it when avocado is just an avocado. And I keep hearing from people that it doesn't even taste like anything. So I'm gonna try it. I'm about to make me a breakfast sandwich. Hi, Stone. Hey, hello, little baby. Did I throw that spinach away? I threw my spinach away. Right now while my bacon is cooking, I'm about to take my vitamins. I take the Good Girl Probiotics. This is for your JJ health. And I take the Bye Bye Bloat. This is just because I bloat OD. And I'm trying not to stop eating my favorite foods such as cheese. So this definitely helps. I am on my fitness journey. So if I do have to end up cutting out cheese, then that's just what I'm going to do. It does have a lot of calories in it though. How can one piece of cheese have so many calories? I'm still trying to figure that out. So I'm going to take my vitamins first. This is what we're working with. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. These are the two I take. 
See, that one was slight. That one was cool. And I do the big one first because I know if I do it second, I'm just not going to take it at all. I'm about to attempt to make this recipe that I saw on Instagram. Basically, a girl just mashed up avocado. She put salt and pepper in it and lemon juice. But I don't have lemons. I have lime. So I'm going to put lime juice in it. And we're going to see what we're shaking with, you know? These are all of my ingredients, okay? Half avocado. The best bagels on the planet. There's no bacon left in here, but... I use turkey bacon, two large eggs, and you can't forget the butter. Somebody give me, somebody tell me the answers. Me, you isn't the answer. Me, you isn't. Maybe I'm telling myself that. This is what the final product looks like. I did not put a lot of avocado up here because it's my first time having it on a sandwich and if I don't like it, I don't wanna throw my whole sandwich away. Let's see what I did. Let's see if I did that. First bite. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda of mad that I didn't add more because it's bossing. It is actually surprisingly very good. No, I taste it. I like it. It's good. And people are right. It doesn't really have like a distinct taste. It doesn't have a taste that would make you be like, Ugh, this is disgusting. I wish I would have added more. That way I would get more of its nutrients. But I just want to say I did my big one. Yeah. Look at that. See what happens when you try new things? See what happens when you open your mind up to new things and new possibilities? You eat good. All right, dudes and dudettes, today is Friday. Last time I recorded, I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday and it was at the basketball game. Yesterday, which was Thursday, I didn't record at all. All I did was go to class, went to the gym. I didn't really do anything yesterday. Yesterday was really boring for me. I did break two nails. Well, one of them was already broken, but I broke it even more. And then I broke another one, but I got them fixed today. Leah got me right this morning. Thank you to my girl and my girl. Thank you to my girl. I know you guys see the hair. I know you guys are wondering what I'm doing and why it looks like this and you're probably also wondering how long it's been looking like this It's okay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is wash it and try to style it because I bought some products from the beauty supply store yesterday Number two it has been looking like this for probably three days Y'all remember when I had the ponytail in? Yeah, this is like another variation of that So I'm gonna consider me having this crazy updo for three days like I was saying, I went to the beauty supply store yesterday and I picked up some product that I'm hoping will like bring my hair back to life because it's kind of damaged. I'm not really sure where the damage came from. I have an idea, but I'm not going to throw no shade and I'm not going to talk crap about anybody on my channel. So I have a little bit of damage, but I'm also trying to get back into wearing my hair out more. Who knows how long it's going to take me, but that's what we're aiming for. I want to really get into wearing my natural hair more and more and more and more. And when I say that, I don't mean how I've been wearing it in a ponytail or updos. I'm talking like wearing it out. Because my hair is really growing and I'm really happy that it's growing. So the least I can do is take care of it. But I'm going to show you all the products that I got yesterday. I am like 99.999999% sure that Stone understands when the camera is recording and when it's not because he does not do this. He does not do this unless the camera is on or I'm on the phone. Are you a human? This is not new. This is the shampoo that I've been using. It's the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. I don't know if this is weird or if I'm like skipping an actual step that I need to be doing in my hair routine, but I don't use a conditioner. I use a deep conditioner. In my head, I'm thinking it does the same thing as the conditioner would do. I don't know. But this is the TGIN. I call it TGIN. I don't know if it's TGIN or TGIN or if you can say both. I don't really know. This is the TGIN Thank God It's Natural Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. Let me stop before I break a nail again. And then I got the TGIN Miracle Repair Anti-Breakage Serum. I'm kind of dumb because they had an anti-itch and my scalp be itching like crazy. And my scalp has been itching crazy for a couple months now. So I should have got that. This is not new, but I did have to pick up another one yesterday. But I've been using this for a while. This is the Miel Rosemary Mint Blend Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. This does my hair wonders, boy. This is the African Pride Shea Butter and Flaxseed Oil Moisture and Define Curling Cream. I used to use this when my hair was cut bald, okay? Like 
Oh, this was my holy grail and I'm actually really happy that I got it again because I have not used this product in probably like a year or two Once my hair started to grow out, I don't know why I started using different products even though this is the one that made my hair look the best Side note, this is one of DJ's shirts. Isn't it hard? Because we both be lifting. I like when he grows out of his stuff so I can have it next Besides washing my hair and styling it, and I'm going to also clean my bathroom. That is a must. The way my shower looks is really disgusting because I gave Stone a bath a couple days ago. And he had stepped in mud. So when he got in the shower, it was like rinsing all the dirt off his feet. Other than me washing my hair and me cleaning the bathroom, the only other thing that I really, really wanted to get done today was editing my YouTube video. Like, whoever is a content creator that's watching this video right now, if you can sit here and tell me that you do not of editing i'll just stop being a content creator right now right now i'm finished with my little ted talk we finna get to the nitty gritty hair is gonna be looking way better after this wash I know that they hate it how we run it up. No, I keep it real, baby. No, I keep it one and all. It be me and you, let's make it one of us. Only me and you, baby, we can make it one of us. I ain't tryna play around with you. Man. I ain't tryna play around with it. Man. Only way is up, let me the sky. I ain't tryna play, I fuck with your love. Like these jeans I got on, she's a one on one. Different revenues, they asking where it's coming from. And you know I'm from New York, I got a honey gun. Well, you know how we rollin', how we rollin'. Bought her ass a paddock. I rinsed out the hair mask. I'm about to start styling my hair. I guess I'm just gonna do a little wash and go. Let's figure it out. He said, man, I love. We violate our principle. Put a bullet in. It was a trap. I got it! If you know me, you know that this is nothing new. I'm not gonna say normal, but this is like not unusual for me to cut my hair when I feel that it's damaged. I was doing my hair and I had a lot of straight pieces. I had some heat damage and I just didn't like the way it looked. I am not a fan of like holding on to damaged hair. That's not me, that's never been me. So I went ahead and cut it. We're starting from the beginning again. It's either Big Chop number three or number four. I'm gonna go with number three and hopefully it'll be my last. Today is Sunday and this is going to be the last day of this vlog because tomorrow, which is Monday, I want to start a new weekly vlog for the upcoming week. I woke up this morning to breakfast. My honey bun made me some breakfast. I got two eggs and then a protein pancake. I'm so excited. <laughs> Today is going to be like kind of hectic for me because I waited until the last day that almost all my work was due to do it and I haven't even started doing it yet. Today should be really interesting and then there's so many games on. Hi Stone, good morning mama's boy. Last night I went to sleep at four y'all. Don't even ask me why because I don't know. When it's time to go to bed, you either need to turn the phone completely off or you need to place it in a separate room or separate space. I did read a little bit of my Bible, but that was after I was like, wow, my brain's really messed up after watching all these unnecessary videos. But yes, y'all, I'm really excited to start filming with my haircut. So I just finished getting ready. This is the look for today. I'm wearing a Lululemon jacket and then I'm wearing some pants from Aerie offline. But I just had to hurry up and get ready. I just took Stone outside. Me and DJ are about to meet my mom and my brothers at Kava. They did a 5K. A 5K is crazy. My mom is taking us out to lunch, you know, because they did a big thing. Y'all, recording with my short hair is not like as weird as I thought it would be. I'm used to having short hair, but I'm not used to people seeing me with short hair. So this is new, but I think I'm going to like it. Right now, I am finally tackling this closet. 
I know right now it looks pretty clean, but that's just because we took everything that was on the floor and we went ahead and threw it on the bed. It's finally time for the closet remodel and I'm super excited to show you guys the process and the final product. We stopped at Ikea on the way home from Kava. We picked up some bookcases, some storage stuff, and it's just gonna come together really nicely. It's gonna get the mess out of the way. Let's get it. This is what we are building, one of these and one of these. 